Hey guys, welcome back to a new video from my favorite series, Easy ZBrush, where I'm trying to break up the pieces of working with ZBrush. So in this video, I want to show you a way that we can flat this uh, surface. Let's imagine that I want to, uh, let's 3D print it, and I want this base mesh to stand perfectly on my table. So right now it's already done, but let's go to solo mode and let's imagine that we have a bunch of, let's press B again, uh, I know, surface that we do not need. So let's make it something like this. <laughs> okay, so we need to make it flat. It's pretty easy. We can either go to move in the, the left corner or we can press W or E, doesn't matter. And we can go, and now we have the gizmo, as you can see. And now we can go, let's bring this up to C. So Alt, let's bring this up. And let's go to Customize, and then let's use Flatten. Okay, perfect. So we have this square, and now we can take this Flatten equal to zero, and with left click or your tablet, just drag it up. And as you can see, the surface becomes flattened like this. And I'm hoping that you can see it. Let's see on polyframe. So there we go. We can go back and reverse it or we can go further. So now I am perfectly sure that this is flattened. So let's go back to customize and let's go back to Gizmos 3D. So that's it. The only thing that uh, will appear will be these areas. Uh, for now, for me, it's uh, small. You can smooth them out or let's go control shift and lasso. Let's say, if they are bigger, you can isolate them better. So, Control Shift Alt, and let's say we need to erase this area, and we can go to Geometry, Modify Topology, and Delete Hidden, and then don't forget to close holes. So like this, and this area you can see we have a new different poly groups. We can go press Ctrl W, we can smooth this out and I see a piece over here so we can go to make sure that we don't have these floating pieces, auto group and then Ctrl Shift so we can go in isolate mode and we go to geometry and delete all we have hidden. So we won't have pieces floating around, so that's it. I hope you will find this helpful. Uh, this series is more for beginners in ZBrush. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Take care.